getting started with role playing is not, is hard. It's not easy at all. You know, even if you're experienced with the game, it's hard to get a group, find a GM if you're not up to the task. I, I'm barely up to the task, and I'm uh, going to run the Minds of the Ladrin. Is that what it's called? The starter set adventure, or with a couple of my friends. It's gonna, it's gonna be interesting. Anyway, so getting started with role playing is not easy. It's a, it's tough, especially since a lot of role play is socialization and a lot of us aren't social you see what i'm saying <laughs> um a lot of times what happens is that when you get started with role playing and you start or t um you start playing D, D or pathfinder with a group some of the group might get frustrated with you and that's just how it is and it and while this is kind of sympathizing with it I can explain why that is because an experienced uh, D&D player will always sort of have an idea in mind and they've had this concept for months you know and they want to uh, play it you know oh they want they have their or, or a badass paladin uh, wanting to spec him out exactly as they want. They're going to be the hero. And then here's this uh, alchemist. Is that... Uh, I think that's the Pathfinder class. An alchemist who dumped intelligence. That actually happened. Um, when I was playing a Pony Finder game with the... With the... Um, uh, My Little Pony subreddit, that's exactly what happened. And, you know, a lot of... And that's just only one example. I was an example of a newbie tra player trying not, you know, trying to get his feet wet. And, except I've played Pathfinder before that, and I sort of get the mechanics of, of Pathfinder. But what I did was I made the mistake of not only going for a class, but uh, doing a class archetype. Um, in Pathfinder, you not only have classes, you have class archetypes that are kind of variations of a certain class. Um, like if you're a wizard, there might be another wizard that, there might be like a wizard archetype that doesn't get cantrips or something. Or they get more, they get a familiar, you know, even though a familiar is, they, like, instead of a spell book, they get a familiar, and that's, uh, and, uh, yeah, that's, it's usually what witches get. You, you, you get what I mean? Um, anyway, what, what, what was I saying? Um, I made the mistake of doing not only a class archetype, but wanting to multi-class. So I was way in over my head, and the guy <laughs> kind of trying to work with me on the concept, because I didn't really have a concept either. Um, I kind of wanted to do um, Shotaro Hidar Hid uh, Hidari? Yeah, that's his name. Uh, Kamen Rider Devil in pony form. But, you know, everything just kind of... Like, I didn't know there was an investigator class, you know. So the concept got lost, you know. I kind of got too crazy in creating the character. And so... My character, like... I think canonically, my character died. Um, because... Like, the last session we had... It hard-boiled, that was his name. Um... You know, keeping with the common Rider Devil theme. Uh, he was at zero hit points. And I kept trying to tell the DM, let him die. I will make a new character. Just let him die. 
And, you know, the DM was like, no, 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 don't give up. And I was like, I hate this character. Just let him die. Um, by the way, it, like, if you're a DM, if I were, if I, like, speaking as a DM, I would, I would probably do the same thing. I would probably be like, well, what don't you like about your character? Um, and then he, I would kind of open up that dialogue, but, you know, that DM had a million uh, other things on his mind. So, oh, new players, you know, kind of get do get in over their heads, especially when they get, you know, they get, like, the book for the first time. This is Essentials, and it's kind of made for... Um, new newbies but even then there's kind of more choice in these like they, these don't offer much choice for a veteran player but if you're a new player you're you know you're kind of <laughs> blown back by you know oh, okay i get all of this at level one all oh, right you know this doesn't offer much choice the imagine pathfinder where you have to choose everything um, where there's several classes and I guess in the you know there it does depend like if they have the core rule book they have a certain um, they have a certain uh, amount of classes but like we were playing off of SRD the PF SRD website so <laughs> You had those classes, and they had so much detail and archetypes, and you know, so you're you're newbie, and you're overwhelmed by this because you want to be really cool, and like for me, I wanted to try multi-classing um, because I really wanted a broken character a lot. I really not. I didn't want a broken character, but I kind of wanted like to beat the. What's the maximum in Pathfinder? Like twenty five, beat beat that, and in Pathfinder, like your combined levels is your player level, so like, let's say you're at tenth level, but you have five levels in uh, fighter and then five levels in wiz in wizard. That's that's how it goes. Um, so imagine someone who's been playing uh, since like second edition, and then and he knows how the game inside out. He knows how to work uh, fourth edition to his advantage. Uh, he's played Pathfinder, you know, oh, most of his life, and he knows how to build a character. And he has this really great idea for Storm Bright Blade. And then mm, there's me, Mr. Magus, who didn't really optimize to be a Ma Magus. Or, you know, this alchemist who dumped intelligence because he didn't think, because he didn't know how magic worked. Th that was, that was uh, also in the Pony Finder game. He didn't necessarily dump intelligence, but like he couldn't fire off any of his potions or his extracts because he didn't he didn't know that intelligence was the main stat of an alchemist. <laughs> um. Yeah. So, I guess the point is. The point is, give give the new guys a break, and a lot of and a lot of people will express frustration, um, but for you new guys, don't don't give up. Just kind of learn from your mistakes. Try a simple path. Actually, that's gonna be my next video. The simple like, kind of the time I went for a simple uh, character. And I've been trying to go for a simplified character, like, um, I'm in a D&D &D game now, or I'm going to be in a D&D &D game, 
where I kind of said, I'll be a halfling bard. You know, I, I'm not trying to get weird, but I'm trying, like, I'm trying to keep everything simple. And even though bards do have spells, I can kind of focus more on spells instead of whatever, whatever bard ar archetype there is. So, you know, new players, keep it simple. Um, just realize that magic users do require a lot of planning ahead. Um, bard, bards and wizards, especially wizards, kind of plan their magic ahead. Uh, bards are kind of expected to be the face. You know, they're kind of expected to, do, to be the oddballs, to do something that, you know... Do something that no one would expect. That's what a, that's what a bard is. So if you're a new guy and someone's uh, and someone kind of giving you a hard time, just you know, I'm sorry, I'm new, and um, kind of ask for ask them for help, but that will open another worm kind of worms. Um, but really. I think the I think the main takeaway here is to is to give the new guys a break. You can, they're new. They've seen videos like this, or you know, or the actual counter monkey videos, where people are talking about their D and D exploits, and they're like, "I want to get in on that. Let's see. Uh, maybe I'll be a dragonborn pirate fighter." You know, without, you know, opening the book. <laughs> and he, the DM's like, uh, let's, let's simplify it a little. Because they don't want to crush the new guy's dreams. But they're also thinking practically. So, I guess that's the end of this little rant. I, I kind of lost whatever, but... It was on my mind, so I thought I'd get it onto the vlog. And, yeah. Give them you guys a break. Especially if they're uh, trying. But, uh, give them you guys a break.